Thank you for sticking around for a yet another Express Lane character creation video, where we take like a 20 minute session and we make it a lot more digestible. Uh, you don't have to sit through all the ums and the ahs and the where are we going to name this guy after this Aztec god or what are we going to do. We get rid of all of that and we dive right into it here. And what we got was a high priest this time, which in Entrapid Studios' Ashes of Creation is in fact primary cleric, secondary cleric, and you get a high priest. Uh, with this one, we went with the Vec, which is kind of fucking cool when you think a high priest because with this picture and the fact that the archetype is like heart high priest, all I can think about is the villain from the road to El Dorado, right? I mean, take it in, kind of let it wash over you. That's kind of what, that's the vibe. Um, and I think it was really cool because we were talking about how their belief and their religion may have a lot of sacrificing of life, whether it be animals, other Vec, other humanoid races, uh, in order to invoke the divine of the God that they worship. However, a cleric usually, not always, but usually is innately like a, I don't want to say good, holy, good, righteous, um, not as dramatic as say a paladin, but a cleric is usually portrayed more good-esque, you know? Uh, so I think it was neat. Uh, we went through it. Obviously, we took Montezuma from the Mesoamerican inspiration that the Vec have. Uh, Bloodstar, again, being the human sacrifice, blood, things like that. Uh, being of the quote-unquote death domain, dark specialization. Um, I'm not sure what the exact name Intrepid Studios is using um, for blood. And then Star because of the just astronomical, astrological, all that jazz uh, that is so important to the Vec as a culture. So that's how we got Bloodstar. So now we've got Montezuma Bloodstar. What I like to call him is good old Monty. Um, so we said Monty was the high priest. We said he started as a cleric. Uh, the only good thing he was ever good at was invoking the divine, being a divine being of the church, of the culture, of the religion, for the god. Uh, then he doubled down on it when he got to level 25. Uh, he, he doubled down on it and he became a high priest. He got into the high priesthood. Um, but we said that he discovered a couple things and he had this really weird um, mental realization of like, okay, I want to help people and I like helping and being of help and helping the world at large and our culture and, and just people in general. However, I do that by sacrificing and killing small puppies. <laughs> it's not that dramatic, but you know what I mean? Like human sacrifice, life sacrifice, blood sacrifice. It's just kind of the vibe you get off of that Mesoamerican religious culture. And then if we carry that to the Vec, which again are a monstrous race, don't judge a book by its cover. I get it. It's kind of racist. I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, if that's kind of their inspiration and that's kind of their vibe, their aesthetic, it gives you the idea that their religion would be more sacrifice killy killy stabby stabby So then we called him the Divine Enigma simply because he is trying to figure out if he is, in fact, evil. Am I evil because I think that sacrificing this small animal or this small child would bless an entire people? Is the loss of a single life for the greater good a good thing? Or is it a bad thing? And how does this fit outside of our Vec village into the whole of Vera? How do I fit in? How does our religion and our people fit in when this is how we interpret the divine and how we interpret the good is through sacrificing of life? Like, is that still good? Is it not? And so that's why we call him the divine enigma, literally traveling across the land trying to figure himself out. Um, and I think that's a really cool aspect. I think it's potentially the most complex character concept that we've come up in one of these. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And that, my friends, is Monty Bloodstar, the divine enigma. Thanks for stopping by the express lane.